What's going on everybody? I've been using these Beach Runner surf rods for a little over three years now and figured it was time I'd do a review of them. I use three of these pretty much every time I go surf fishing and I'm a huge fan of them. I'd recommend this surf rod to anyone just starting out surf fishing or anyone just looking for a budget rod at the $50 price point. I'd honestly put the performance of this rod up against some at the $100 price point. It's just a great rod, especially for 50 bucks. You can't beat it. They cast great. Fighting fish is a pleasure. This review is specific to the nine foot version because that's pretty much what I've been fishing with exclusively. I've used the 11 foot model a couple times and it honestly has about the same feel. So it's kind of relevant. And I'll leave the specs for these rods, the nine foot, 10 foot and 11 foot versions in the description below. As far as casting, this rod is amazing to me. I can throw this thing 80 to 100 yards, depending on the wind. It loads very easily, so casting far takes minimal effort. This, the sweet spot for this rod is actually a three ounce. I seem to be able to throw a three ounce further than any other weight, so that's, that's the weight I recommend using, unless it's just too rough out there. On the rough days, I can throw a four ounce weight, and I never feel like the rod's gonna break or just can't handle that weight. It's rated for one to four ounce and it definitely can throw a four just fine. I have casted some other rods at the $50 price point and they just do not compare to the Beach Runner. And honestly, the Beach Runner beats a couple of hundred dollar rods that I've used as well. I give the casting ability of the Beach Runner five stars. Fighting and handling fish with the Beach Runner has been amazing. Turning a large black drum or even a stingray it has no problem. I've never felt like the rod was gonna break or I was overloading it, and the fish will just eventually turn around like get tired of fighting you. Yankee pumping them out of the water is not a problem at all, and it's probably one of my favorite things to do. This rod has the sensitivity to even feel a six inch widening at the end of your line. You can feel the weight hitting every little nook and cranny on the bottom. I can usually tell what kind of fish I have at the end of the line by what I'm feeling through the rod. When a fish bites, the bend in this rod from even an eight inch pompano will send you running down the beach. Great bite detection as far as visual. For fish handling and sensitivity, I give this rod five stars. Beach runner rods, they're made with a graph graphite blank. They're not heavy at all. Definitely on the lighter side for a $50 price point. These cork grips have a good feel and they don't get slippery when wet. The butt end has the typical rubber bulb and uh, it's comfortable on your leg, never had any complaints about it. There is one flaw to this rod though. The guys, unfortunately, they break pretty easily, but what can you expect from a rod that costs 50 bucks? They're not gonna be top of the line guides. But all of the guide breakage has been user error. One of the rods, I dropped it in the driveway and three of them shattered. Broke a couple others, pulling them in and out of my trunk, but I got snagged on something, just wasn't being careful. The rest of the rod, however, is held up very well. These cork grips, they don't break away very easily, if at all. I have some other rods at the $50 price point and they've worn out going in and out of my sand spikes, but these have held up. There's just one little divot here that you can see, barely see, that is worn out from the sand spike, but there's no peeling, no breakage. The real seat, never had any issues with it. This, this screw, it doesn't break over time, even sitting in the sun all day. I've, I've had no problems with them. Uh, have not broke one of these from casting, even up to a four ounce weight. I sling it as hard as I can. Never broke a rod from a fish or a weight. But overall, I'd give the durability of these rods three stars, and that is because the guides do break relatively easily. But at $50 price point, it's kind of expected. Overall, I'd give the Beach Runner Surf Rods four stars. I love this surf rod, and for a $50 rod, it is really hard to beat at that price point. So if you've been thinking about getting a Beach Runner Surf Rod, go for it. You won't be disappointed. Great rod. I've, I've really enjoyed them for three years. I own four of them right now. I surf with, I surf fish with three pretty much every time I go out. If treated right, take care of it. It'll last for many years and you'll catch plenty of awesome fish with it. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please check out my other surf fishing videos. And if you enjoyed this video or have enjoyed any of my other videos, please like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, Take care and tight lines.